to TV News, Reisner Dining Hall goes international. And see why students are flocking to Chambersburg. All that and more right now. Thanks for joining us on SUTV News. I'm Marina Barnett. And I'm Holly Hare. It's no secret Chippensburg had historic snowfall from this weekend's winter storm Jonas. It goes down in history as the second largest snowfall since 1938, accumulating nearly 35 inches. Jonas ranks just behind the blizzard of 96. The College of Business is practicing its new major, entrepreneurship, becoming the only PA state school with the innovative program. Darby Sells has the story. After 13 years of a concentration under a management major, Shippensburg University upgraded entrepreneurship to a major and minor in the College of Business. The reason they passionate it is because they needed a bachelor's degree in entrepreneurship to compete with Penn State and compete with Pitt and compete with Temple. We were the best program in the PASHI system. Dr. Morissette, after decades of entrepreneurial experience, brought the concentration to ship. The concentration has been successful under his guidance. We have a 100% placement rate for everybody that's graduated with the concentration. Out of the 121 students that have graduated, we've had 25 that have started their own businesses. For some students, this is a huge stepping stone to advance from a concentration to a major. There's a lot going on, at least in the world right now, where entrepreneurial thinking is huge and that's kind of where everything is moving. So that degree is going to be so much more valuable than a management degree, so it's really huge for the College of Business. For others, this change simply illustrates why they came to ship in the first place. Well, personally, I always called it the entrepreneurship major anyway. I never really looked at the concentration. I just kind of always treat it as its own entrepreneurship major. Students hope this new major will show potential employers what they are really made of. My goal is to run a business, so management is a single focus. So for me, it's better that I say entrepreneurship because then people are like, oh, it's not just management, it's all three management, marketing, finance, everything put into one, so you're a more well-rounded business person. The new major is set to begin fall 2016. The seniors feel cheated out of a major they feel they deserve. They're caught in the middle. They've done all the work that, uh, that the major requires. They want entrepreneurship on their degrees. They don't see themselves as managers. They don't think like managers, they see themselves as entrepreneurs and they want their credentials to represent that. But the program seniors are not giving up yet. We believe that we've deserved that major and that we should also reap the benefits of having that and having that degree. And we also want to represent Shippensburg as well as the first cohort of the entrepreneurship major and that's really huge for us as well. The seniors are planning to make a petition to get the major on their diploma. For SUTV News, I'm Darby Sells. The next steps are to hire more entrepreneurship professors and expand the department in Grove Hall. Reisner Hall may be the place for dinner and a show this Tuesday. You heard right. Chef and author Michael Twitty is presenting his talk, The African Roots of American Food, in the dining hall at 7.30. Become hungry. Twitty will be preparing a meal from 4 to 6.30. The event is open to the public. Chick-fil-A lovers rushed to Chambersburg for the grand opening of a restaurant. The first 100 customers had a chance to win free Chick-fil-A for a year. The new fast food spot is in the square at Norland Avenue. Well, Holly, I'm not ashamed to say I played in the snow all weekend. I'm not ashamed to say I did the same. Here's a group of ship students who weren't afraid of the cold. We'll be back with the world news after this. in Brazil may have some implications for the Summer Olympics. And crisis in Syria continues. Here's Joe with your world news. Saudi and Sweden Monday heightens concerns about the influx of migrants. Police say an asylum seeker attacked a Swedish woman at a refugee center where he was staying. Officials say this is the worst case of violence involving migrants, but not an isolated incident. Sweden took in more than 160,000 asylum seekers last year. 
In other news, ISIS claimed responsibility for two bombings in the city of Homs on Tuesday in Syria. The bombings killed at least 24 people and injured 100 others. A car exploded at a government checkpoint in the city, followed by a suicide bomber detonating his explosive belt in the crowd. The same neighborhood was targeted by ISIS on December 28th and December 12th. And lastly, Brazil is losing the fight against the Zika-carrying mosquitoes. The Zika virus is a new mosquito-borne virus. The virus causes concern because of an alarming connection to the neurological birth disorder, microcephaly. The government will be distributing free mosquito repellents to pregnant women. News of the Zika virus spread comes months before the Summer Olympics. Brazil announced all Olympic venues are being inspected and fumigated. That's all I have for you this week in World News. I'm Joe Rodriguez. When we come back, see why Barbie is getting 33 new looks. And see what classic rock band is coming to Lurs. Star Trek New Voyages. Filmed in an abandoned dollar store in New York, each show takes about four to six months to produce. Fans from all 50 states, as well as Australia and Germany, have donated time and money to bring their passion to life. Fans interested can catch the episodes exclusively on YouTube. Three Dog Night is going to be at the Lore Center on Saturday, bringing back some music from the 1960s. Three Dog Night here a few years ago, and uh, it's, it's uh, very popular with the demographic of audience that we bring in here to the Lore Center. Uh, we're pleased with the turnout, then we should sell some tickets uh, even up to Saturday because the weather's supposed to be nice on uh, Saturday. Make sure to come out and enjoy some great classic rock. Barbie is getting a new look. Actually, she's getting 33 new looks. Mattel announced its new line of the doll, including a more anatomically realistic Barbie. A Mattel spokeswoman says that the company wants to send the message to girls that anything is possible. With some recent updates, Barbie now comes in four body types, seven skin tones, 22 eye styles, and 24 hairstyles. The original Barbie is still part of the line. That's all for entertainment this week. I'm Paige Ahrensmeyer. We are going to be switching to weather. Here's Isabella with your weather. Tonight, cloudy skies with a small chance of snow showers and a low of 26 degrees. Expect a high of 33 tomorrow with mostly cloudy skies. In the five day, temps in the lower 40s, Saturday and Sunday with partly cloudy skies. Expect light rain Monday through Wednesday with temps in the lower 40s. Have a wonderful weekend, Ship. When we come back in sports, men's indoor tra track travel to Bucknell for the Golden Invitational. Also find out which three basket baseball players were named preseason all-region. at Kopp. Last weekend's snowstorm rescheduled wrestling and basketball. The wrestling team's Sunday match at Franklin and Marshall isn't rescheduled yet, but both men and women basketball games against East Stroudsburg will be played this Monday. The women play at 6 and the men start at 8. The snow on the ground isn't stopping Coach Jones and the baseball team. Ian Fitzgerald has more. Typically, the preseason rankings are based on last year, so you know it's it's good that we're ranked, and it's not where we want to be at the end. Obviously, um, you know we want to be in the top, probably in the top five, and competing for a regional championship to hopefully go to the World Series. Um, but we don't put a lot a lot of stock in the preseason rankings. We know that we've got to win games on the field and and earn those numbers by the end. The team was recently voted 10th in the 2016 National Collegiate Baseball Writers Association preseason Atlantic Region rankings. The season starts February 12th at Belmont Abbey. The Shippensburg men's track and field team braved the elements last weekend to travel to Bucknell. Jamison Barker has more. The track and field team headed to Bucknell this past weekend to compete in the Golden Invitational. In their first competition in six weeks, the Raiders knocked the rust off and held their own versus the Division I talent of Duquesne and Bucknell, finishing in second, neck and neck, with the Bison. Shippensburg finished their day with 41 PSAC qualifying performances, four of them meeting the NCAA standards. 
Overall, Ship and Bucknell combined for 15 wins out of 18 events. Individual Raiders performed well, including junior Tim Usher, sophomore Tracy Davis, and seniors Grant Smith and Laquan Chapman. Smith took first in the weight throw and the shot put. Chapman took first in the triple jump, Usher in the 800 meter, and Davis took second in the high jump. For SUTV Sports, I'm Jamison Barker. Ship will split up this weekend. Part of the team heads to Penn State for the National Elite Individual, and the rest will return to Bucknell. The men and women's basketball teams have three games in the span of five days. The two teams face off against East Stroudsburg on Monday. Hayden Kephart caught up with both coaches on their approach for ESU. And they're a very similar style to what we just faced with Bloomsburg. So we need to do a better job against DSU in handling a matchup zone and getting some ball movement and, and looking to get some things down inside and, and get some easy percentage shots. Well, they're the cream of the crop in the East, and they, they've, they've always been one of the better teams in the conference over the years. And so you always know that uh, it's going to be a, a very challenging evening, and, and uh, you've got to bring your A game. And so we're, we're, we feel as though we're up for that challenge. And uh, we're, we're excited that they're going to have to come here and play. Be sure to tune into SUTV's coverage of both games on Monday at 6 and 8 p.m., Campus Channel 82 and Comcast 21. You can also stream the game online. Both teams will take on Mansfield Wednesday. That's it for sports. Let's send it back to the desk. That's it for SUTV News. I'm Marina Barnett. And I'm Holly Hare. As usual, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at SUTV News. And check out our website, SUTVNews.com. We'll see you next time.